there are two different ways that we do re-irradiation. There's IMRT-based re-irradiation, which is usually for you know, six or seven weeks of re-irradiation, kind of a conventional way we do it. And then there's SBRT, which is very high doses in just a few treatments for re-irradiation. And one of the other presentations actually compared the two groups, which was a f the first time that's ever been done uh, in several hundred patients. And what was found was that in both cases, again, the safety was much better than expected in both, both of which were much safer than, the, than we historically knew from the older trials. The second thing it showed is that that recursive partition analysis, that, that grouping of patients into prognostic categories, it was validated in the patients treated with SBRT as well. So it was created in just the IMRT patients. We tested that prognostic classification on, from the IMRT patients to the SBRT patients found that it held true as well. And then among those group of patients, there are some uh, kind of preliminary findings. It's not perfectly validated. There's always bias in these studies that you know, we're kind of looking back. But it seemed to suggest that patients who may have been living longer and do better may have had some benefit from high dose, kind of longer course IMRT-based re-irradiation. Um, perhaps patients in the, in the poorer risk category that maybe weren't doing as well SBRT had less side effects, it's much more convenient for patients, and it seems like that may be a better application to consider in those patients um, as opposed to kind of long protracted, you know, six weeks re-irradiation. The other thing it showed is that third class where people aren't doing as well, uh, maybe we should consider avoiding re-irradiation altogether and maybe considering things like systemic therapy, immunotherapy is now coming on the scene, maybe alternative strategies. So I think all in all, the re-irradiation studies that we're presenting this year kind of show that modern, the modern data shows no matter how you do it, modern radiation, modern re-irradiation is much safer. It has quite a bit of efficacy. We are able to break patients up into prognostic groups. And based on that, it kind of helps us make some decisions about whether the longer course IMRT or the shorter course SPRT may be uh, best utilized.